Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any questions, please email me at admin at Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to combine several of my older tutorials to uh, show you how to set up a home server from behind your router. Now, the crux of what will make this work is a free program called WAMP Server. So if you do a Google search for that, it should pull up their home page and uh, you can download it from there. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now all those programs are uh, useful for, head for setting up a home server. So WAMP Server just combines those programs into one easy to install application. If you were running Linux on your computer instead of WAMP Server, you would want to download WAMP Server, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Alright, when it's through installing, you should see this icon in your system tray. Just click on that icon and click Put Online to put the server online. So now it should be up and running. To test that, open up a web browser and type in localhost in the address bar, and it should bring up the default home page which looks something like this. Now if you click on that icon again and click on the www directory this will allow you to change what's on your server. You can see that it's got that default index.php file that we saw earlier. So for instance if I created a folder called pictures and I pasted a picture inside that folder now if I go if I open up a web browser and type in localhost forward slash the name of the the folder I created forward slash the name of the picture it should bring up that picture so now that picture is shared on my server so I'm gonna go back to the main directory and I'm just gonna create uh, a sample home page so I'm gonna call this index.html and I'm gonna edit it and just create some very basic HTML tags the opening and closing HTML tags and then the uh, opening and closing header tags and then the opening and closing body tags and uh, in between the two body tags I'm going to create a new paragraph and align it to the center and I'm just going to put welcome to my home page and then end the paragraph. Now I'm just going to save this and delete the index.php file. So now the only index file in there is index.html so when I type in localhost that's what it's gonna pull up alright so now what I wanna do is I want to get my computers IP address so I'm bringing up a command prompt type in ipconfig I'm gonna get my computers IP address the one that ends in dot five here and the default gateway which is my routers IP address and it ends in dot one so uh, if I were to go to a web browser and type in my computer's IP address, it's the exact same thing as typing in localhost. So um, now I'm going to backspace and type in my router's IP address, the default gateway, and I'm going to change the port forwarding options to forward my computer's IP address through the router so that anybody can access it. So I just created a new port forwarding service, calling it server. Uh, the port is 80, that's the default port, it shouldn't change. And then I'm going to put my computer's IP address and click apply. So now if you go to cmyip.com to get your router's IP address, the, the main one that everybody can access, and type that into your address bar, it should bring up your home page like it did there. Alright, now I'm going to go to dyndns.com because uh, I'm going to create account, an account for this because instead of giving everybody my router's IP address, I just want to give them uh, a domain name. So I'm going to create a, a new hosting service, um, just tinkernut.myphotos.cc, add my router's IP address and click create host. Now all I have to do is give everybody this tinkernut.myphotos.cc address and they should be able to access my home page. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.